Welcome, this is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. In today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how easy it is to draft your own pillow sham using Electric Quilt. To get started, you will want to know the size of your pillow. For this tutorial, I assumed my pillow size was 30 by 20, which is a queen size pillow. You also will need to decide if you want a flange or not. There is a detailed PDF that accompanies this video. To obtain it, you will need to sign up for my newsletter in the related blog post. To start our design in EQ from the home screen, we will select Design a Quilt from Scratch. Then select New Quilt and in the ribbon toolbar select Horizontal. Go to the Layout tab and change the number of blocks to one by one. And we're going to change the size of the block to the size of our pillow. So I decided to use a pillow that was 30 by 20. So I put in 30 by 20. Feel free to change the width and height depending on the size of pillow you plan to use. And we have no sashing. Then go to the border tab. If you don't want a flange, go ahead and delete the border. If you would like a flange, you will want to set the size of the flange in the border tab. I decided to create two borders. The first one is a long horizontal, and that's the default, and you can see it on the ribbon toolbar, and it's set to one inch. Then I'm going to add a second border, make that a long horizontal as well. Then make sure you've got your lock size adjustment set to all. Double click on one of the numbers under the sides and change it to two. Now select the block work table and select a new block pieced easy draw. Adjust the precision toolbar to the size of your pillow. So I'm going to put in 30 wide and 20 high. Change your snaps so they snap to the inch. And so that will be the same as the size. So I'm going to put in 30 horizontal and 20 vertical. Turn the graph paper cells off. And for snapping options, just have snap to grid points on work table turned on. Under the drawing tools, select the line and we're going to start by drawing horizontal lines across the entire block at 2 inches and 18 inches. And that's going to give us a 2 inch border. Then we want to create 2 inch vertical lines. So we're going to um, go down and this is going to be between the two horizontal lines and we're going to draw them at 2 inches and 28 inches. Now, if you are working with a different size, that's fine, but go ahead and be consistent in terms of the size of all four sides. Then we're going to draw a one inch border. So we're going to draw horizontal lines at three inches and 17 inches and vertical lines at three and 27. For the third set, we're going to draw horizontal lines at 6 inches and 14 inches. And that's going to give us a 3 inch border. And then vertical lines at 6 and 24. Then we're going to do another 1 inch border. So we're going to draw lines at 7 and 13. And vertical lines at 7 and 23. Then we'll do uh, 2 inches and so we'll draw horizontal lines at 9 and 11. And then we will draw vertical lines at 13 and 17. Then go to the color tab. Under fabric tools select the paintbrush and recolor the block. I like to color this using fabrics that are used in my matching quilt and add to the project sketchbook. Then select the quilt work table and select the design tab 
block tools set block and scroll to the last block and click on the center space in the quilt. Then select the fabric tools and the paintbrush and finish coloring the borders. And turn off Hide Show Quilt Patch Lines so we can see what it will look like and then select Add to Project Sketchbook. Thanks so much for watching. If you would like a written tutorial for this video, please subscribe to my newsletter on the related blog post. Even if you are currently a newsletter subscriber, you're going to want to sign up again because clicking on the box to request the free tutorial will get that coming to your inbox.